Namaste, Soul Tribe, Spiritual Healer. Back to give you guys a message. You guys can hear the song playing in the background. It's called Forever by Drake because this is the energy that I'm picking up on. It may not, it may not mean nothing to y'all, but understand that nothing was done for me. Okay, so you guys, you guys might have a group of karmics. Okay, you guys might have a group of karmics that are watching you guys um, from behind the scenes. These karmics are watching you guys on false accounts, okay, on fake pages. They're watching you guys. And these people are sitting there um, trying to downplay your success, okay, Aries? This is, the, this is the energy. There's a group of karmics that are bitter, and they're watching you guys behind the scenes, okay? Manifest everything that you have in your life right now at this point. None of these people ever did anything for you guys but try to sabotage you, betray you, um, downplay your, downplay who you really are. They try to transfer their energies onto you. They try to orchestrate things, get you guys caught up. We already know this. But this energy that I'm picking up on is that you guys woke up on this energy where you guys are um, determined. You guys are in this level of being determined because th this is just getting started. Whatever God has been blessing you with, whatever the universe is gifting you with or whatever you're doing... This is just get it's just getting started, okay? So the time is now, okay, for you guys to be elevated on um on your pedestal, um, for you guys to reach the success that you guys been working hard to reach, okay? And um, yeah, you guys are accomplishing a lot of a lot of goals here. You guys ain't even looking back to the past, and you shouldn't be looking back to the past because all your blessings are literally up ahead, okay? All your blessings are that way, okay? That's what I'm getting. And then I heard, I'm not cocky, I'm confident, okay? So I don't know who sings that or what song that's from, but that's all I heard. I heard this, and this is a song, and this is all I heard. I'm not cocky, I'm confident, okay? So I don't know if that's Fabulous. I don't know if Fabulous said that in one of his songs, but you guys are not cocky. You guys are just confident, and you guys deserve to be confident because everything you have, you worked very hard for, and nobody gave you this. Nobody gave anything that you have to you. Now, I'm picking up on heavy Scorpio energy in this in this reading, Aries. Okay, so like I said before, there could be a Scorpio that's admiring you, watching you, about to make a move towards you or shoot their shot. Or you guys could have heavy Scorpio in your energy. But there's a Scorpio, and you can know the Scorpio from your past, or this is a Scorpio that, or, um, that you don't know, because I know Drake is Scorpio. So I've been picking up on a lot of Drake energy, a lot of music from Drake lately. So yeah, a lot of Scorpio energy is here. Scorpio energy is heavy in this reading, okay? But you guys are doing something and you're making these karmics a believer in whatever you're doing because it's definitely working. Even though they're trying to downplay your success, even though they're trying to laugh at you behind the scenes, these people are literally crying inside. They're crying on the inside. They could be laughing and doing whatever they want now, but they're crying on the inside because they know that something that they have tried to do towards you never works on you. You always defeat every attack. You always defeat every every time they try to do something and make you make a decision, a hasty decision or whatever. It's almost like you guys are very gifted. So every day you guys are defeating psychic spells. Okay, every day you guys are defeating confusion spells. Every day you're um, defeating the karmics, okay? And these karmic could be coming up in your dreams because I had a significant dream and some of you guys could be having the same dream or you guys are going to have the same dream coming up because there's somebody that's, that's very regretful from your past, okay? But this person is very cocky and arrogant or this person doesn't know how to stop being somebody that they're not and let go of their facade or take off their mask and, and really reveal to people that, you know, that they really have feelings for you, that they really messed up, that they really lost you, you're a star, and now they're stuck with a karmic. This is for male or female watching. This person could be in despair, okay, crying on the inside, trying to wear a false mask like this person's happy with a karmic. But I had this weird dream, okay, and in my dream, you guys, this could be going on for some of you guys watching because this dream was so um, vivid. I woke up this morning like trying to process the dream I had, okay, because somebody cannot have access to you in the real, in the 3D energy. Somebody can't access you in real life. So somebody is desperate enough to come into your dreams to try to cop a plea or to try to speak to you or uh, to try to tell you that they're not in love with this karmic, okay, that they're not happy with this karmic, that they're still into you because they can't tell you that in real life. This person can't face you. They know everything they did to hurt you. They know that they worked with your family against you for some of you guys. And they know that they made up lies about you and they had a whole smear campaign, 
okay? And now this person is feeling so bad or guilty for it because now they're literally realized that when they did that, when they took that um, contract or when they made the decision to work against you and thought the grass was greener over there with this karmic, that this karmic had more than you, that was all an illusion. The devil tricked this person. Now this person feels stuck with a karmic they're not even attracted to because that's what was going on in my dream. This person from my past and this karmic that was in the dream with this person, you know, following them around. And this person telling me in, in front of the karmic in my dream that they're not in love with this karmic, that this karmic ain't the one, that they miss me. So this could be happening for some of you guys. And in, in real life, your ex is... is, is if you had an ex that betrayed you and walked away for a karmic, that ex is in despair. And um, that's all I got to say. This person can't um, believe that they lost you, their empress, the queen, or the king, or the emperor. Yeah, there's karmics. Um, these karmics are running in circles because you guys are putting in the work and you guys are investing in manifesting um, your blessing. You guys are investing in mastering your mind, okay, making better decisions. If I'm talking too loud for anybody watching this video, just turn your volume down on your headset or on your device because somebody made a comment about me being too loud or shouty. I don't know how to whisper when I talk. I'm sorry, guys, but that's how I am. When I talk, you can hear me. My, my throat chakra is clear. Okay, so your ex might be popping up in your dreams. Your ex might be stuck with a miserable karmic that they chose over you. This person is sick and confused, okay? Yeah, this person could be even be sleeping on the couch because they don't even want to sleep next to this karmic. They feel disgusted by the choice they made. This karmic is like very toxic, okay? Very superficial, materialistic. This karmic envies you and this, and this masculine or feminine knows this. This karmic is always bringing you up. Wow. Yeah, you guys have major success opportunities, so be open to receive and win. No looking back, okay? I have some names I channeled on this notebook right here. I channeled names, but I'm going to get into the energy real quick with the cards, okay? And then at some point of the reading, I'm going to go back and give you guys the channel names, okay? So, yeah, thank you for joining me, my beautiful Aries. I love the energy you guys are in. You guys are not looking back. It's like, I'm just doing me. I'm living life right now, and... This is what I'm going to do till it's over, till it's over, but it's far from over. That's right, I'm doing me. That's what I keep hearing. I'm doing me right now, and I ain't stopping. This ain't over. It just got started, okay? So, yeah, let them hate. Let them hate. It doesn't even matter because they can't stop whatever God has ordained in your life. Because you took back your power. You kept you gotta you gotta take back your power. If you haven't done this, take back your power. Because for those of you that took back your power, you guys see these people. You see these karmics trying to get your attention, trying to trigger you, trying to make you feel some type of way, coming up in your dreams, trying to attach yourself to your energy, doing the most right now on the full moon, okay? So this full moon. This is the full moon. Tonight, tomorrow, I believe, or whatever. This is the full moon energy, okay? So do your full moon cleansings, baths, rituals. Manifest your blessings on the full moon, okay? Protect yourselves under this full moon. Light your spiritual candles. Do what you gotta do. Because you guys already know how many people betrayed you, okay? They all took a shot at you. It took a whole bunch of them to try to get you down. But you still got back up. Because this is in reverse. You still got back up. And you still became the queen of swords or the or the king of swords energy by cutting people out right at the door, okay? Because when you access your gifts and your intuitiveness and your ancestors started coming through with messages, okay, you couldn't deny what they were telling you. You do you guys just you guys just gotta believe, believe that your ancestors and your spirit guides from your past lives are with you right now. Because this is a this is a major spiritual uh battle going on, on earth for this hat this started already like what? 2012, I think it started, okay, 2012, everything started to come out to the light with the masses being um mind controlled, yeah, they're doing, they've been doing this all our lives, okay, making you guys purposely feel left out, purposely not reaching out to you guys on the holidays, purposely making you guys feel bad for taking back your power, purposely trying to sympathy spell you guys because they never offered you a real cup of love in the first place, because when you let go of these people, that's when you become prosper. That's when you become prosperous. That's when you start to win. That's when you start to level up. Because these people were just like um, a distraction. They were like a huge distraction. And and I know you guys been reaching out and letting me letting me know that if you guys are seeing eagles, if you guys are seeing 
um, crows. If you guys are hearing owls or seeing owls, all of this is significant right now. So all your ancestors are on deck from your past lives, okay? They're just letting you know. They're getting justice behind the scenes while you work on your callings, okay? Some of you guys are dealing with a queen of cups that's bitter, okay? That's resentful, queen of cups, because this queen of cups was manipulative, whether this is your mother, whether this is a, a sibling, whether this is... Um, someone else's mother that you dealt with, somebody's mother figure. This could be your ex's mother, your mother, or a mother figure in your life. This person didn't want you to move forward, to move on, to have some say-so, to speak to your, um, your truth, or whatever it is, to access your uh, powers and your gifts, because that's when you were going to transform everything, this whole spiritual curse that they put on you when you were born in this family, okay? They wanted you guys to be in lustful energy. They wanted you guys to be attached to karmic energies. They wanted you guys to doubt yourselves. They wanted you guys to um, look for attention or need attention or need validation from other people. Yeah, because they never gave it to you growing up, okay? That was part of the orchestrated trauma in your life, okay? But you're understanding that. And there's a heavy Capricorn energy here. Aries, Leo, Sag, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio feeling defeated, okay, feeling defeated, trying to come towards you while you're sleeping, be mindful of that energy, you guys need to be using your selenite crystals, okay, if you don't know what it is, this is a selenite crystal right here, get yourself a selenite crystal, I put this on, on my body, in my bra, whenever I read, whenever I channel, um, throughout the day, I use this crystal under my pillow when I sleep at night, okay, this will allow you to have vivid dreams, allow you to see what you need to see in the, in the, um, astral plane in your in your dream states this would also increase your uh clear audience gifts this also increases your psychic abilities okay yeah so yeah protect yourselves get your selenite crystals because the sneaky energy in your lives are all exposed okay and like i said they're running in circles trying to prove a point trying to downplay your success or trying to bring back some lustful energy from your past to come towards you but none of that shit is working okay and, I, and if you guys are still letting people in your energy um when it comes to sex, okay, if you guys are still entertaining people in sexual, um, with a sexual energy here or having sex with somebody and they're not your girl, they're not your man, this person ain't your husband or your wife, it's time for you to cleanse your, your sexual aura and take a break from that because that's the only way they're able to continue to uh, bind your sacral chakras, continue to dim your light, continue to block your intuitions here and your creativities. Queen of Swords, karmic female. So there's two karmic females here. And a, and a karmic ex from your past, okay? And they're all feeling stuck right now. They're all feeling um, bored with their own lives. They're all texting each other back and forth, trying to figure out what they can do to betray you, to take you out. For some of these people, they want to take you out, literally. Like, like they want to end your life because your purpose is so powerful here. You guys are protected by heavy, heavy ancestor protection right now. Yeah, they wanted to stop your money. They want to block your money. They want to block your finances. They want to do invisible. They don't want they want you to be invisible and, and all that and this, but this is what's coming for them. This is what's already happening in their life. So if they don't notice that their spells have already backfired and they've been backfiring, if they don't notice that, these people are these people are like very foolish. Like these people are are delusional. I feel like somebody's delusional over your nine of pentacles here. Yeah. This person keeps coming towards you, but you keep blocking them, okay? Keep on uh, knocking, but you can't come in. That's what I heard. And that movie is from Cheech and Chong, okay? Cheech and Chong, when he got pulled over, somebody here could be smoking a lot, okay? Um, you guys could be smokers or somebody smoking a lot because, you know, um, this person's in despair over the loss of you, okay? And then I heard that from Cheech and Chong. Keep on knocking, but you can't come in. When the cop pulled up on him and he was smoking in the car, he was... He was high off of some acids. So somebody could be taking like psychedelics. And this person thinks that they're connecting to spiritual ancestors. Or somebody around you is not who they say they are. The false high priestess. Or somebody that's like a false preacher here. This person could have been taking psychedelics. Or this person just is on an ego trip. This person thinks that they're hearing ancestors. But this person is really connecting to some sort of dark entity. This person is delusional right now. That they think that they can stop something that's meant for you. Hell no. This person wants you to put your guard down. So they might be coming towards you with a gift or some gesture only to get into your energy to try to do something else to you. But you guys are very intuitive. You can forgive somebody, but you don't got to let them back in. Like I said, keep on knocking, but you can't come in. That's what you guys need to be doing right now. Okay. And um, for the channel names for this reading, I heard Emily. I heard James, Jerome, 
Jesse, Jessica, Jones. Somebody's last name could be Jones. Marcus, Thomas or Tom, Tanisha. Somebody's nickname could be TT because I heard TT. I heard K. Somebody's name could be K. I heard Pamela or Pam, Pamela. I heard Kyle, Jake, Jason, Andrea or Andre, Scott. And Scott could be first or last name. I heard McDonald. Somebody's last name could be McDonald's or McDaniels. Landon, Lance, Latrice, and Lashane or Lashar. I got those names for this message. Okay, so this is your video. Aries, um, I'm going to be pulling. Let me see. Yeah, because people are getting exposed here. And there is a sudden change. There's a sudden change in the end. The, there's a change. There's a sudden change in your life. Because people used to be able to manipulate you easily, convince you. You used to be more gullible than you are now. You are connected to your I am presence, your higher self. You're no longer making decisions with your lower self. You're making decisions with your higher self. And every sort of trap or confusion they try to throw your way, you are defeating that. Yeah, because they've been working with a third party here. Some of you guys, if you're in a relationship, okay, keep your relationship strong with the person that you're with. Don't keep any secrets. Talk about everything because someone's trying to sabotage your relationship with your person. They're trying to create illusions so that way they could break up your life or like your connection. They could get into your life somehow and, you know, create you guys to have a breakup. Or somebody here was actually, is somebody here also watching? This is another message for someone. Okay, that the person that you're with is actually cheating or doing something deceitful or just using you, manipulating you and working against you. Some of you guys are awakened to this and you're walking away. The tower moment came. For some of you guys, you have a good marriage or connection with somebody and they're trying to come between your marriage by sending dark thoughts or energy. Okay, protect that connection. For some of you guys that you're alone, since you guys are alone right now, somebody from your past that's regretful knows that you were the best that they ever had coming up in your dreams because they chose a karmic and this karmic was a dark empath and this person is, is in despair. Somebody's really trying to scam you guys. Be careful of that energy. Okay, and this is your message, my loves. I hope this helped, you know, gave you some sort of clarity. If you guys need a personal reading, feel free to reach out to me. My email's down below. Thank you for your love, your subscriptions, your comments. Your donations. I love you guys so much, my beautiful Aries. This is your message. Till the next time, my loves. Namaste.